Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Should we do a stipulation? Do we have anything good in the queue? We still have Cabalan. Draft all the cards that deal damage to you or require you to pay life. Uh, build a deck that uses token creatures, attacking with swords equipped. To attack with equipped swords. Thank you! Mr. Tasty, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. 25 months, I appreciate it. Almost two years, as So Salty would say. Is that a DOA volleyball? No, this is Flooded Strand, my dude. Well, gosh darn it. Beautiful biscuits in my biscuit bonanza. I'm going to take this guy. Has anyone seen The Witcher series? I, we, me and Katie watched the first episode. I think she liked it, and I wasn't sold. It felt like they were trying to be real Game of Thrones, where they introduced a bunch of obscure characters in one episode, and they're like, all right, here you go. And you're like, wow, I don't know any of these characters, but Game of Thrones has really taught me that I'll get to know them intimately in the next few episodes. Take Wildfire. Aria Laxative, you have been eating far too much Sir Strumming tonight, my dude. Far too much. Sir Strumming. This is an interesting pack because there's nothing great in it. <sighs> I think Nyssa's is good. Tooth and Nail is pretty dece. I actually, we haven't gotten Tooth and Nail to work yet. Easy student. Okay. Well, now we're done. Now we're done. The first episode has just been a high stakes game of Gwent. <laughs> Dude, Dan's. I really want to play Witcher Three, but I haven't done so yet because, good lord, there's so it's so long, dude. Shut up and take my money. Draft Crisis Super Friends. <laughs> uh, okay, so take this Karn is what you're saying? SARS CoV 2 RNA RT PCR nasal swap. What? I don't understand what's happening right now. Josh, I love you, buddy. <laughs> Josh, I'm going to take this Karn. I'm going to take this Karn anyway. And then maybe this Eureka Tables. Geralt, Geralt, Geralt controls like a boat in mud if you can get over that good game. Oh, Chris, congrats on your on your negativity. That doesn't make sense, does it? Is it Corsair of Crucifix or Eternal Witness? Chris, that's good. Now you're in the perfect shape to come visit me. I have that song stuck in my head that Ferris Bueller has in the background when he's running through the neighborhood. Do 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 do. Ow, ow, ow. I like Ren and Six a lot, but I think we're gonna stick. I think we're gonna stick to the colors that we have here. Actually, I'm gonna take Eternal Witness because we have Ancestral. So that speaks to me more so than than Corsair here. I'm gonna take Finhorn Elves. I think Avenger is pretty replaceable. We're gonna have two seven drops. I kind of like Edric here. Well, I'll take an Edric. All right, I don't know what's happening here. Where are my super friends at? Actually, to be fair, I got I got distracted, so I, I was like, I guess I'll just do that right now because there's a Karn. But I, I don't necessarily have to make this that one because I don't think we're on that course, but we'll see. Dress, 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 Josh, what would you... <laughs> d does Crisis Super Friends uh, necessarily mean something different? Or, like, so, like, I assume you're referring to, like, Crisis on Infinite Earth Super Friends, but I don't know what those would mean in magic uh, terms. I like Whisperwood here. Although if Katie saw me take Whisper it over, over Thrag Tusk. 
it would not go well. Oh, it was J Link. I thought it was Josh for some reason. J Link. Grix's super friends makes much more sense. I was like, Crisis super friends. J Link. Thank you, buddy. I misread because, you know, magic's hard. So. Thank you, my dude. Alright, I got a Grixis super friends in the queue, which I do not mind at all because I love Grixis nonsense. I have quite a few stipulations in the queue, but we still have a week of cubes, so I'm not too worried about it. I guess just hang her back because it's the only thing we can cast here, so. Sure. Sort of body and mind. Sure. How can you misread something? I've been told you have laser eyes. Listen, the laser eyes don't improve my reading comprehension. Oh, Eureka did come back? Oh, man. I, I, let's just... You know what? A lot of times Eureka is a trap. Let's make it so it isn't. Tristani's actually pretty decent with Eureka because you can put her into play. And then you gain control of all the creatures. Like if they have like, um, you know, Sower of Temptation or Control Magic or something like, something like that. Like, watched someone pass a Leovold on stream earlier and thought of Frank. They were drafting some red-blue stuff, but Frank always drafts a Leovold. Yeah, I mean, red-blue seems terrible. So just, just, just audible. I'll take a Braska. Uh, I'll take a Deed. Coalition Relic, Narset. Well, this pack's kind of doo-doo brown. I think it's just Coalition Relic. I think it's better than Search for Tomorrow. We're not Narsetting. Yeah, I think it's just Coalition Relic. Four-color Armageddon decks? Why does that exist? Speak of the devil. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I asked the guy that same question. Why does this exist, buddy? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See, I think Noble Hierarch is a better pick. Especially because we just passed Narset. I think it's gotta be Noble Hierarch, man. I, I really do. It feels bad. I feel like you guys pressured me, but... Oh, Jesus. Although it happened, I was just memeing, take the better pick. I appreciate it. Because otherwise I actually would have been like, man, I feel like I'm like not being true to myself, you know? Oh, God. Vivian Reed is really good, but Fallen Shinobi is... Also that. I think it's Vivian Reed. Oh, God. Super Fritz, you know it's hard, buddy. I did not enjoy that. Ponder or Control Magic? Or are we splashing Teferi off this Noble Hierarch?
I mean, if if Narset wheels and then Tefri wheels right after it, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take Control Magic. Control Magic's gotta be stronger than Ponder. I love this Vivian so much, dude. What if Leovold and Narset both wheel? Do we take this Time Spiral? What if one, like one of them has to wheel, right? Fuck oh, God. This Vivian's real strong though. I'm going to take Time Spiral. I feel like a maniac for doing it, but I don't care. Ramunap Excavator. I think it's just Brazen Bar or Solemn Simulacrum, actually. I do like Solemn. I think I might like Solemn better than Borrower here. Because we are trying to hit these big numbers. I think I like Solemn a little better here. I think Crassus is good. Garrick might be better if we are playing this Eureka, which honestly, there's definitely been times where I've had some good luck with Eureka, especially if like my hand is all permanence. I'm going to take Garrick. Oh, Euro. Oh, wow. Tundra, Windswept Heath, and a Euro. I think it's Euro. We didn't actually take the white card, so I'm not super concerned with the Windswept Heath or the Tundra. If the Scarab God shows up and he lets it pass, I'll call the Area 51 because that's not Frank. Uh, we have someone impersonating Frank. Uh, I guess Progenitus in case we hit that, that beautiful natural order. I mean, this deck looks fun. Come on, Narset. Come on, Leovold. <sighs> Leovold and Consecrated Sphinx are both definitely frank cards I, I agree with that completely well that's sad i has a sad i'll take emery because it... alexa stop <laughs> i think i said i has a sad and she was like you know what i don't, I don't know Dang it, neither of them came back. We just gotta play we just gotta play Time Spiral like a sucker. They were both in this pack too, which is sad because now like we know there's no chance of getting them, you know. That makes me sad. Oh well. Mox jet. Progenitals. Maybe. I mean, it's just gotta be Mox, right? This this pack's not even good. This pack is pretty bad. Are we an upheaval deck? I don't think we're upheavaling. I also don't think we're Crucible of Worlds in here either. I mean, I'm tempted to just take. I think we're just. I think it's just an upheaval, right? Like upheaval just seems great. We do have Mox, a bunch of mana dorks. I think we got an upheaval. Pluto Delta is cool, but we don't need any blue cards right now, so. Or black cards, rather. What are we tooth and nailing right now? Literally just Ulamog? We could take Sundering Titan. We could also take Garrick Wildspeaker. I 
think it's Garrick Wildspeaker because I think we can actually get more big fat idiots. Yeah, we're going to take Tropical Island here. I also don't care about Hangerback Walker. Let's take Tropical Island. Sylvan Library and Terastodon and Devoted Druid. With 11 cards, three are going to come back. My guess is Cliffs, Vortex, Oblivion Ring. Revelark. Gifts, Vortex, Cliffs, Vortex, Revelark. I think it actually is Terastodon. Like, we have Euro, Edric, and Ancestral for, like, some card drawing. Also, actually, Arbor Elf seems great here. I was going to say Savannah, but we're not, we don't need the white right now, so I'll just take Savannah. I mean, Arbor Elf, rather. You know, the guy I said I was going to take. I don't care about Gush. Karn is probably the only card in here we'd play. And it's a Planeswalker you can put into play with Eureka, so. You know, if we choose to do so. Carney T. Does Yorion do anything exciting here? I don't think so. Just makes Planeswalkers mostly. Yeah, I think it's just Carney T. Gotta be Library? Joke's on you, buddy. I took Terastodon. I mean, I just want to have targets for Tooth and Nail. Like, right now, the only impressive targets are these two. And I'm tempted to just take it out. Iga. Eh, it does nothing for us. Yeah, we'll just take Biogenic Ooze. I mean, Regrowth. We have a card called Ancestral Recall. Yeah, I think Regrowth is probably correct here. Stone Cold Serpent is fine. That's true. You actually can't cast... You can't put a, an Ancestral Recall into play off of a Eureka. So probably not worth it. Like, a lot of people, like, shit on Eureka. But, like, I, I think it's completely unlike um, Show and Tell, which is terrible. Yeah, let's take Hermit, which is playable. Devoted Druid? Oh, that's... Wow, that's wild. Okay, so we need, like, three cuts. Presuming we're going to play, like, 16 lands. Whatever, Sunny T is fine. All right. This deck looks interesting. I mean, I, my, the, the ideal turn is just go Time Spiral, untap all your mana, upheaval, play more things. And then your opponent has like 900 cards in their hand. This is a one drop. So we have four one drops, a devoted druid. I wonder if I don't think we need coalition relic. 
We actually didn't go to Ikea. Katie had a migraine tonight, so we're going to go tomorrow. Okay, we need like one more cut here. It might be tooth and nail. We only have two good targets for it, and I think we can just cast them anyway. And we have Eureka too. All right, here we go. Nine, ten, ten, six. I think that's fine. Fifteen lands in Mox Jet. Uh, I think the Ziggs was joking. That's what's known as a little meme. Weird that we cut. This hand seems great. Um, yeah, let's keep this and we'll go turn one devoted druid. Well, he got me. It's a, it was a tricky situation. Watch, you ready for uh, Eureka? That was not Eureka. Eureka Castle. It's out of blue. Let's go one, two, three. Actually, there's no reason not to tap this in case we draw like Ancestral. Oh, um, put a land. We die. Just go Finhorn Elves. All right. Well, the mana's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. You guys ready for uh, upheaval? Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wow. wait. Wait a second. No, it wouldn't work. Dang it. I was like, if we attack with this and make it a one, three, so we can untap it twice. But that's not how that works because it would be tapped already. Oh, God, we're so close. I'm just attacking for two because I don't think they're going to block, so. So we can cast anything in our deck next turn, and we can draw, and we can, and any land lets us play Wolmog, right? So what could go wrong? You know what I mean? Like, what could possibly go wrong here? Frank's like is drawing the 10 drop when he has 9 mana on turn 3. There's nothing incorrect about what you said. Okay, that's fine. Except for the fact now you get to draw 2 cards. That is that is what's known as unfortunate. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Thank you! Do, 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 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... ZBD, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. All right, well, they get to draw two, I guess. But I feel like these are the correct ones to exile. Why go wrong when go right, dude? Trick. <laughs> See, that's funny. See, that's a that's what's known as a converted office meme. Oh god, watch they're gonna control magic this guy, and then we're just gonna die. Treachery. Sure. I guess we have this guy to attack next turn. And yeah, I mean, like, the worst they can get is, like, Terrastin on here, right? Like, this dude still eats 20 of your cards. I mean, what do we have? Eternal Witness doesn't get back anything. 
Uh, biogenic ooze is worse than terastin, I presume. Solemn simulacrum. They conceded from the game. <laughs> they were like, oh, the rest of these cards are shit. Buddy, I know it. You ain't telling me anything I don't know. Also, Tristani seems good against bribery. Attempted at a white source for her. Or Coalition Relic over something. They were like, nope, none of these cards save me. So, I'll take out the ooze for now. bring in the relic and they were playing green and blue which is pretty hilarious so let's take out Karn yeah because Solemn and Search for Arrow get a white source so putting the planes in seems decent okay six drop seven drop not where we're looking to be you know what Maybe this gets substantially better. What if we draw like what if we draw like three good three good three good hits for Eureka before? What happens if we hit like something good? Oh, that guy's trash. That guy's actual trash. That's no good. Wispy wood. More like quispy. Quispy wood. Get in there. Do your job. He's doing his best. How do you know? What if he's actually half assing it? What if he's not doing his best? I don't think you can tell. I mean the alternative is like maybe their their deck just isn't suited for a a Eureka that puts like nine mana worth of value into play you know did we ever win when casting Eureka yeah actually multiple times there's been several decks we've drafted with Eureka not tonight because this is our first round but nobody carrying a walking stick like that is half-assing it this guy's got purpose you got it Get your Black Lotus. Just give me like Ulamog this turn. It'd be wild, right? Black Lotus. Mana Crypt. Okay. So it just makes me really sad. I just don't want to do that. god i have nightmares about targeting a, a, a forest that's already untapped oh come on oh god that's brutal it could be your backpack while you're up Okay. Why, Wispy? Why, why you got to do that? I guess we could always get like Eternal Witness and put it in, put it, in, put it back in the hand. <sighs> Dang. Yeah, Eureka's looking pretty rough right now. 
Okay. Hmm. I don't know what's happening right now. Are you mind twisted? No. Okay. Well, it only makes blue or, or red or blue or black, so you don't really. If you don't want one of those, then. And this is just Trader's Trinker Mage. I have no way to get this guy back into my hand right now, so... Oh, no. No trade. So, I'll just play Garrick. I'm going to plus Garrick, because I think next turn overrun's pretty good. What are we going to have? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 25 damage? And Gara could just win the game if they don't have an answer to a Planeswalker. They could also take three here. They did not. They are winners. We are losers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mana total. Wild. Oh, do we just get to flip Euro? No, you don't have to sack it because it already entered the battlefield. That's wild. Doon, 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 doon. This is the last time. I'm not trying. I mean, they could damnation here, but then we still get like three guys out of it, and we still have a Garrick, an active Garrick. So, Are they still dead? Eh, any order's fine. I mean, this is still 15 damage, right? I guess they have... I guess they could have... Okay. I was like, but this is still lethal. Yeah. That was just cool. Yeah, how many... No, we need one more card in the graveyard because it's five, right? Yeah. Why doesn't it say escape five? Why does it just say escape, exile five other cards from your graveyard? All the escape costs are different, so like, just say escape X, right? Some of them do, don't they? What about like Woe Strider? No, it just says escape five mana XL four other cards that's weird when the escape abilities are all the same why not just have the number there so I don't have to like read it I was going to concede the game but I don't have to do that I could be your backpack while you run. Oh, what up, Mike? Good seeing you, my dude. Okay, this hand is... It's something, all right. We'll keep it. They mulligan to six. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana here. I believe in it. I believe in Harvey Dent. Okay, what are we... Are you lying to me? Never. So next turn we can go Hierarch Druid. Ha ha ha. 
Well, the spaghetti is made out of... Oh, God, we're done. I can't even read you. I can't even read you anymore. Oh, all right. Let's do that. I mean, I guess we're hoping they don't have anger of the gods or fire ice oh wow we just get to we just get to do things that's pretty wild one two so if we go one two three for search do we play land yet yes so we have one two one two three four and then whatever land with search alternatively we can play around like mana leak i think it's probably not mana leak, like spell pierce. We can't play around mana leak. One, two, three, four. I think we just, I think we just run it out there. Yep. Wait, what? <sighs> cool. Super cool. Wow. That's amazing. Welcome to things that would never happen in real life. Mr. Tasty, thank you. Thank you for the devoted druid bucks, my dude. That was insane. Well, that guy just slammed right out there. Eh, no reason. I don't see a reason to attack for that. Oh my god, you're hitting Euro again is just great. Wow. It's not really a bug. I could have responded to the spell going on the stack by Devoted Druid. Once we get to the point where I have to pay two, the spell is resolving, and untapping Devoted Druid is not a mana ability. So, like, it's not a bug. I just... I, I passed the, the point where I was able to untap this. It's like if I wanted to untap a land with Arbor Elf. That's not a mana ability. So I don't get to activate it during the resolution of a spell. Like, it was just a really cute technicality. Yeah, this is actually really good. Okay, I thought I hit it, but I want to make sure we go to the end step. Blue, green, untap, green, flip. I actually kind of want to do this again because I think we have enough mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will put us to seven. I think I just rather have the two, two. And we don't have to draw. Oh, we get this too. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And we don't have to draw Mox, Mox Jet now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's real close. It's like surprisingly close. Well, that's pretty good. Let's do that. <laughs> I feel like we're in good shape here. We got one, was this four, five, six, seven, eight mana still? Sure. Okay, you're just literally like, you're just literally copying like Gross Spiral, right? <laughs> That'll do, pig. Well, this draft has been going splendidly so far and we just submit i don't think they're going to be a deck that can really beat a eureka if we actually get to resolve one i kind of want carnage tyrant in here i feel like it is another tristani um let's take karn out again we can play coalition relic
they're like, but your guy didn't die. And I'm like, didn't it though? Let's take out either time spiral or upheaval. Probably time spiral. Oh yeah, we can take out. Uh, oh yeah, all right, we did it. I used to really like the square pizza in school, man. Not the worst. The taco snack. I don't even know what that is. Well, I mean, this... Again, we're opening ourselves up to, like, pyroclasm. But if not, Whisperwood's pretty good. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Oh, also, if we upheaval, we get all the tutus from Whisperwood. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We could have played Mox Jet, upheavaled. I think we just want to upheaval next turn. And then we'll just keep a, we'll keep a mana up. One, two, three, four, five. Whisper Wood. Yeah, next turn upheaval seems very good. I guess it was healthy. <laughs> that sounds... That doesn't sound correct at all. The briefest. Dalkery, what's going on, buddy? Been all right. We 2 won our previous draft. We are 1-0 and up a game right now. Oh, wow. Yes. I could not be more thrilled about what's happening right now. It's before the lunch party. <laughs> it is your birthday. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we attack with Whisperwood and Manifest Token. Because I don't really care if we trade here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. One. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Trump. Jet. Elf. Mm. Devoted Druid. I'll give me your backpack while you run. So that we saw Island, Island, Mountain, Mountain, Thran. So we could have six mana next turn.
Yeah, and if this was something like a euro or a carn underneath the uh, Whisperwood token, we probably would have just uh, kept it <laughs> instead of like just sacrificing it for the season pyromancer. But now this is in their hand, so they don't have it. They have fewer plays for turn three. Noble Hierarch. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, play Whisperwood. Sure. I'm actually going to put a counter on this and add Noble Hierarch because if they want to like wipe the board, I think it's better to have multiple guys on board. Trostani is interesting. Eternal witness for upheaval seems insane, right? Like, I'm not just crazy there. I don't think we need it, but... Man, there's the one planes and they also killed Arnold Hierarch. That's pretty hilarious. I guess we can bounce it, but I think they just conceded. Yep. All right. So, 4-0. Not bad. Yes, it is insane, and you're not crazy. Well, that's good. I can be your backpack while you run. Mr. Tasty, have a good night, buddy. Wear a trophy as your backpack. Buddy, I'm trying. I'm working on it. Keep it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Not terrible. Sausage pep ham. Okay, so, so many red blue decks, man. So next turn we can go sword equip, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's... All right, that's pretty decent. That's not gonna do it, I don't think. Fascinating. 
Oh, okay, because they're shuffling. Sure. Sure. I still don't know why you'd want that trigger, but... So one, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just play Garrick here. Oh, we just won the game. I guess Garrick will win you the game. So they're kind of like weird storming? I don't know what's going on. Like I just heard my phone, but I don't know where my phone is. It's not in my pockets. It's not on the desk. Oh, I think I know where it is. Um. I think Carnage Tyrant's probably pretty good. Let's take out Time Spiral. I don't want to be refilling their hand. Yeah, sure. Oh, this hand's rude. This hand's a little rough. I'm going to keep it. We're on the draw. We at least have turn three Edric. He said. We at least have a turn two, Edric, he said. When the time is right, the bridge about your face. And they do. And they do. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, now we're probably dead. I guess what? Fingers crossed they don't have it? <laughs> that seems rough. All right. Just don't have Ulamog in your hand, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why you did what you did instead of just doing this, but all right. Sure, my dude. You got it. You got it. Yep. That's fascinating. I mean, they have to win the game before they lose to, to their Mana Crypt, right? No, they could just sack the Mana Crypt, I guess. Okay. Yep, that's probably all I need to see. <sighs> Not really much we can do about that, unfortunately. Except play first and hope that's good enough. This is interesting. I'm going to keep this hand, and we're going to try to hit a green source in the top four cards from this Ancestral. Well, Moat is double white. There's no there's no realistic way we're going to be able to play Moat before they play, like, cards that deal with Moat, you know? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? How are we doing this draft? We are currently 2-0. We just lost a game after winning a game so this is our game three we are one game away from trophy which is all you can really ask for in these trying times so
So we are going to go Island Ancestral. Puts us up to one, two, three, four, five, eight cards, then nine cards, which means we can play land one of these guys. You're probably just asked to trophy. Hey, man, can I trophy? I mean, they mold a five, so. For those watching, definitely, definitely check out Manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service uh, for Magic Online. You can use it to play Legacy, Pioneer, Modern, Standard, name your format. It's it's a great service, and they are a sponsor of the stream. You get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with a link and promo code down below, so definitely check that out. And uh, didn't hit a green source. <sighs> so, you know. But also, check out CoolStuffInc.com. I had an article go up today about red cards. Mountains of all, of all things. You can check it out here. Leave me a comment in the article. Be a force, be a force. Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. That's unreal, dude. I mean, Eureka actually seems pretty decent now they have Garrick Solemn and things like that in hand, so. Wow, that's insane. This is not real, right? <laughs> how? Explain to me how. Twelve cards, no green sources. I mean, we're still in it. Jesus. I mean, let's hit Ulamog, right? Because we get Eureka. I mean, we haven't eureka yet, so I feel like we're due for a good Eureka, right? See what happens. They could just counter it, too. Seems good. Mm hmm. Hmm. Euro. Are they done? Put it this way. Search first so that our card drawn is a little bit better. Maybe we should have kept this in hand. But. And there's no incentive not to just sack this here, right? So. Plus next turn we can actually activate Euro because we have a bunch of cards in the graveyard. I mean, they can also kill Garrick before we get to activate him, which is unfortunate. I don't know, Siege Gang Flame Tongue is a pretty good draw. And I also think it was pretty unfortunate that we just missed Forests for four turns.
mean, the question is, is it worth two goblins to get rid of Garrick? And the answer is probably yes. Uh, Mike didn't swear off raid. He just hadn't been playing it for a few days. What's the hold up here, man? T -t -t Today, Junior? I don't know what's going on here like they can just go shoot 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 this shoot this yeah i don't I, I don't yeah i guess this is yeah this is this is the correct play i don't know why it took so long mm -hmm. yep Got green resolve this guy put a land out uh, look at the top four cards of your library. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. You don't have anything I care about. So we're just going to plus here. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'll just get a little mog. That's good. I didn't want to draw either of those. So. Just going to pass. Next turn we get to a Euro. I also have three cards in the graveyard left after we escape. So if we escape twice. Oh, upkeep. Upkeep Vampire Tutor. Seems good. Well, I have to assume you have neither sneak attack nor a creature to put into play with it, so. Huh. That's really interesting. We're upheavaling right now. Wow. Oh, that's real good for us. We get to upheaval, go land, mox, noble hierarch. Okie dokie. That seems good for us. Plus we have Euro in the graveyard. Oh boy. Mistakes were made. You done messed up, A.A. Hey, hey, Ron! Sure. Inconceivable. I mean, you can't kill Vivian Reed in any, in any, in any world. Attack your face. Don't care much about Doretti. Why don't we attack with this guy too? I actually don't know. That probably would have been better. Let's let's do one of these first, right? Oh, Eternal Witness seems great. Oh, we should have played Mox first. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Oh, yeah. Mox would have given us one more mana. But I don't think that would have done anything. So 
we have one, two, one, two, three, four. Don't think I care about Solemn or Karn. Or another blue. Oh wow, they got a Mana Crypt? That's wild. Goblin Rabble Master? Jesus. Yep. Sometimes you just have it all just like your opponent, I guess. <laughs> well, I got a discard now. So then you had Dreddy, Siege, Swamp, Swamp, Island, I believe. Um, flame. That was a really good draw. I mean, they can flame tongue this. It's going to be rough, actually. One, two, three, because we have four mana. I guess we can Eternal Witness. <sighs> yeah, our mana's a little rough right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, still not, we're still in bad shape. Well, that's not great for you, boy. Let's just get back an island here, because that lets us play your other boy. So we've seen... What was Flame? Oh, Flame Tonkabu. Yeah, we did see that guy. We saw one of the swamps. So we know they have Duretti, Siege Gang... Definitely blocking Flame Tongue Kavu. Okay, I'll take one. It's pretty good. Um. I feel like it's just Biogenic Ooze here. Because they're going to be 3-3s three and this is a good window where they can't actually shoot both of my guys. So, it seems fine. So we know they have Duretti Swamp Island. And three other cards. One the flip twice. We have eight cards though, so that is... Less than ideal. We could also play Vivian Reed and kill their Mana Crypt. They also might have discarded the second Swamp, so... And they're probably going to go Duretti, Sacrifice, Mana Crypt to kill Biogenic Ooze. Or they're going to play Manamorphose. All right, Demir Signet. Now Duretti. Kill Biogenic Ooze, right? 
something. Man, I thought that people was great until they had mana, mana crypt. Mana crypt like just kind of ruined it. Yep. So I don't know any of the cards they have in their hand. Yep, figured that was going to be the case. Hmm. I think we're just taking four here. Like, I think we can steal Siege Gang. But in response, they're probably going to kill this guy. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana. Jesus. All our cards draw us cards and we have seven. Actually, can we get... No, we don't have the good old Mog. Dang, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Not sure how we win this game. I mean, next turn they can just kill Euro with friggin' Duretti. God, it's so bad, dude. <sighs> One, two, three. I think it's still the best option we have. We only have seven cards in our library, God. Do have Trample? No. Okay. Actually, Karn is pretty good next turn. Three, four, six, seven. Get in there. I don't know if we have enough turns to ultimate Karn, I'll be honest with you. Maybe we do. That'd be pretty hilarious, though. What? They just let already die? What? Instead of blocking with one goblin? I think a Snapcaster Wheel of Fortune kill us. One, two, three, four, five. Bribery. Terastodon is in the deck still. That's something. Yeah, we get to control magic it, even if they kill, I guess if they kill blue, blue, green. Carnage Tyrant. Interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. I'm gonna control magic this guy while we can. And just play sword. <laughs> we have four cards in our deck, so we go to three, activate Karn, go to ten. Yeah, I don't know, this game's not good.
they can't we have four cards in our library we can't actually attack with euro because we draw a card and then we just deck ourselves <laughs> six seven they need one more blue for that draws us cards draws us cards draws us cards yeah mills them but we don't have any trampoly creatures to put it on unfortunately i mean this would have been great to put a sword on so we just have to carn and hope we can hold down the fort i guess So we go to three cards, Karn goes to 14. We go to two cards. No, Karn goes to 14. We go to one card. Plus Karn again goes to 18. We go to no cards in library. And Karn gets to ultimate. Like, we just... I mean, we get three damage. Karn can take three damage. How did we win that game? We were at three cards in our library. Oh my god. Guys, we finally we finally broke the curse. Wow. Thank you guys for watching. You know what? We're gonna open this trophy during the video. Oh my god. It's been so long. The curse is broken. So we got one forest by Elena Danner, my buddy. Ooh. One borderless Luris. What's this thing go for? Probably nothing. And five play points. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.